समिट ऑन सस्टेनेबिलिटी 2024 ऊर्जा संघ आईआईटी मद्रास और पॉल्यूशन कंट्रोल इंडिया ने समिट ऑन सस्टेनेबिलिटी में प्रभावी नेताओं के साथ सहयोग ऊर्जा संघ आईआईटी मद्रास और पॉल्यूशन कंट्रोल इंडिया द्वारा आयोजित सस्टेनेबिलिटी समिट 2024 ने जलवायु कार्रवाई और सतत विकास के लिए भारत की प्रतिबद्धता को रेखांकित किया इस कार्यक्रम में विभिन्न क्षेत्रों के नेताओं ने एक साथ आकर पेरिस समझौते संयुक्त राष्ट्र के सतत विकास लक्ष्यों एस और भारत के स्वयं के सस्टेनेबिलिटी लक्ष्यों के अनुरूप समाधानों पर चर्चा की और रणनीति बनाई वर्ल्ड टू ब्रिंग टुगेदर इंडस्ट्री एकेडमिया सिविल सोसाइटी एंड ऑल ऑल अदर पार्टनर्स टुगेदर to explain what are some of the relevant examples where we have actually seen success what is the social impact we can create and most importantly how we can all work together on all the sustainable development goals simultaneously so looking forward to the Hi, day i am amit shahani uh, the founder of evate uh, at evate we provide financing solutions for uh, commercial vehicles with uh, greener fuels like uh, cng vehicles hybrid vehicles and electric vehicles uh, sustainability summit on sustainability has been uh, a great place where we could meet people from all walks of life i think uh, uh, taking the pledge uh, along with everybody out here was very impactful it had a moving effect and i think that's something that i'll take back uh, uh, in my heart for from from this event um, it's also a place where i could meet a lot of people from uh, other financing uh, backgrounds as well as uh, Uh, academia and various other profiles and that's something that uh, is very useful going forward uh, myself ganesh chari i am a founder and md of nesha jo envirotech bangalore so i have been part of pollution control india for last 4 plus years uh, as a part of webinars this summit has been very beneficial because it is a common platform for industries industrialists uh, social entrepreneurs and uh, public as a whole where having this bridging between all the people and all the uh, stakeholders become more impactful when we create any solution and look at the sustainability and climate change as a whole so definitely this kind of uh, sustainability summits will help to bridge the gap between the innovations and the social mahajani i am heading uh, green energy and sustainability hub at iit bombay uh, yeah so uh, i am connected to this event because uh, i was called for the panel discussion here on uh, how to empower sustainability initiatives and uh, the benefit of uh, uh, being here is to get connected with uh, many people who are working in the same space and uh, uh, jointly collaborate with them towards uh, achieving the goals uh, to make the uh, life more sustainable thanks ihar and i run something called the improving lives foundation uh, we focus on building sustainability in rural india and building rural sustainability is i think the key to creating a lasting sustainable change uh, for an economy like ours uh, which is primarily fueled um, from its rural populations uh, in terms of why i think this sustainability summit is really important uh, i think that often times we speak about sustainability in silos academia talks about sustainability on its own industry talks about it on zone and impact talks about it on uh i'm ashish jain uh, founder director indian pollution control association and it's a privilege to to be part of summit of sustainability uh, this is a very new uh, good initiative to bring all the stakeholders under one roof to discuss the importance of sustainability and uh, uh, this is uh, this conference i'm seeing uh, filling the gaps Uh, where i'm seeing lot of academicians researchers industrialists and the and the consumers so uh, so a lot of thing going to be discussed uh, in today conference uh, what is the sustainability need of an hour what uh, kind of actions uh, are needed in today world to save our environment and uh, to bring uh, uh the bright futures to our uh, coming generations thank you i've been associated through marching sustainable with this event since quite a few months and we've been working on how to make this event carbon neutral in itself and to promote sustainability as a theme for corporates and institutions and i really feel that this event is a landmark in itself because there's the conversations that are happening over here are leading the change 
So hi, Anuj Gup. I am Anuj Gupta, co-founder of D2O Learning. So uh, I would like to thanks to uh, Pollution Control India and uh, the Consortium of Energy's uh, ID Madras team to organizing this summit on sustainability in Mumbai. So this summit is going to be very fruitful for all the people who are working in the sustainability domain as well as who are aspiring to do sustainability work uh, in this area because uh, the future is all about sustainability and uh, today we if we are not taking action today we cannot save our future we cannot work on the few uh, the sustainable development goals so we have to work together so the objective of uh, this summit is to aware people what is going on what is the future trend and i wish uh, who are the people are joining today they will learn a lot of things from all the speakers and the panelists so thank you so much and uh, look forward to see you in the future. i am e nandakumar the ceo of the international center for clean water an initiative of iit madras the center is a non-profit organization. We are knowledge partners for this summit. The summit itself is very comprehensive. It talks about how do we make our whole world sustainable. We are trying to see how we can balance both economy and ecology. Uh, it need not be in conflict. We are finding innovative ways by which we can save both the ecology and the economy and the planet. I am co-founder and CEO of Rangde. Rangde is a social investing platform that uh, enables uh, artisans, rural entrepreneurs and farmers to get access to really low cost credit. Um, the reason why I'm here is sustainability is very close to our hearts. A lot of projects that we fund that are in the intersection of sustainability and livelihoods. And from the summit, I hope that you know more collaboration comes through because uh, collaboration is really the key to sustainability and solving some of these problems around livelihood, access to finance, and of course, ensuring there's net zero emissions. So really excited and looking forward to the rest of the day. Hi, I'm Arjav Pandya. I'm working with HPCL in Corporate Strategy, Planning and Business Development, Petrochemical Marketing since 17 plus years of work experience. So this, uh, this Sustainability Summit is actually a whistleblower in a sense, a good platform for corporates like us who are actually giving us signals in terms of how we bring all circular economy, all like-minded people put together in a same platform. And you know that's why I'm here and I think so this is a very good uh, step in a sense to uh, to to bring all like like-minded people at the same platform and to you know enhance our all whistle blowing towards the signaling theory of sustainability circular economy and I'm coming from a plastic background so I'm also looking for how plastic recycling will play an important role in place of sustainability. Hello, my name is Ullahas Parlikar. I represent MRAI. I am on their board and basically MRAI is an organization which promotes recycling as its initiative contributing to the cause of circular economy. This summit, I believe, is adding a huge value to the understanding of sustainability to the entire stakeholder community and a lot of challenges which are there are being thrown open. It will be a good, val good value addition to the entire journey of reaching the net zero. Thank you. Professor Rajneesh Kumar, uh, I am currently uh, IIT Madras में एक professor हूँ chemical engineering में और also uh, school of sustainability में uh, हमारा योगदान इस particular conference जिसका नाम है summit on sustainability में ये है कि हम एक academic एक uh, research partner के तर, तरीके से इस conference में जुड़े हैं और हम यहाँ पे ये discuss करने आए हैं कि uh, educational institute like IIT Madras or IIT Bombay में क्या technological uh, interventions or technological solutions दिए गए हैं sustainable India के लिए और India जो कि net zero 2070 uh, by 2070 achieve करने की कोशिश में लगा हुआ है